First off, thanks to EB Laser Rex for sending me this study, and second off, whoa. I'll cut to the science. Donald M. Henderson, curator of the Royal Tyrell Museum, developed three-dimensional models of Spinosaurus, an alligator, an emperor penguin, and several fully terrestrial theropods. These models included muscular density values and cavities like air sacs and lungs. The point? To see if they could float. The verdict? Yes. No. Kind of? All the theropods could float, including Tyrannosaurus, Baryonyx, and Allosaurus. They could all breathe while floating. But Spinosaurus was extremely unstable in deep water. Henderson wrote that it would tend to roll onto its side, and that its center of mass was much closer to the hips than previously estimated. So it couldn't swim worth a dang, but it could walk just fine on land. Not only could it not swim in over its head, but it couldn't sink, either. That means no diving under to hunt fish. That means the crocodile dog theory, which I personally thought was awesome, is out. Spinosaurus would have been much more suited to wading in the shallows and snapping up fish like a 12-meter toothy heron. Keep in mind that it was calculated as unsinkable even when they reduced the lungs by 75%. So there's no way this thing is going down to the river bottom unless you buried it in a landslide. Also, since these results use the old 15-meter estimates, they probably would have applied to sigil mosasaurus as well. The link to the study is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more paleontology content. Vividen out.